Welcome back to Look Past Limits. Join us today for Malta Part 3. Malta is a tiny island nation located in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea, just south of Italy. It's one of the world's smallest yet most densely populated countries. The archipelago is made up of three main islands, Malta, Gozo and Comino. This little country has a rich and complex history. It's absolutely packed with culture, the natural landscape is breathtaking, the food is delicious, the cities are fascinating, and the whole country is like a real-life museum. We're spending the next week exploring this incredible country with two of our best friends, and we're bringing you guys along with us. Morning, guys. Good morning. First stop of the day today is the fishing village on the south of Malta called, we think, Marsha Slocks. Marsha Slock. Or something like that. <laughs> Look at this place. So we've just parked the car at this side of the bay. The town just sits right on the end of this bay. It's not huge, you can see all the way around it and we're just going to have a wander all the way around to the other side and no doubt stop for some coffees along the way. fishing boat that this bay is full of, they call it Lutzu, and they paint it with the bright colours and they paint a couple of little eyes on it, you probably can't see it from here but on the front of all the boats is a couple of little eyes and it's supposed to be some superstition folklore to keep the fishermen safe at sea and bring them good luck and they just look so cool but it's clearly a lot of maintenance because we saw the guys along there painting it and they must have to just paint it all the time to keep them good in this condition. As well as it being a charming little village, it was also cool for us to watch the fishermen and see how some of the locals live here. Because up until this point, our Malta trip had been spent mostly in cities where the people were living a very different life. Some of these tiny boats were only big enough for one fisherman, but they had them kitted out with electrics and a bed, so they must be going out to sea for days at a time. Not much luxury that. Anyway, after a bit more wandering and a coffee stop, we were ready to jump back in the car and head further round the coast to our next stop. Next stop on the list is St Peter's Pools. I think in the summer this will be a super popular spot, but because we're here in late October it's not too busy. Or maybe it is. <laughs> Try to reach for the city lines This ain't where I belong Ain't look at me, man, what I become I've been running east Looking for something Digging deep since now Sitting in my pocket in plain sight all along. 
set a toast for those lost old eyes And my crooked little heart That seems so rebellious Is falling apart right now I'm bleeding, I'm easy kid Gonna leave it all behind So last stop of the day Blue Grotto The next day was actually our final day on Malta, because later in the day we would be taking the ferry over to Gozo Island. Our first stop was here at Popeye Village. This village was built as a filming set for the 1980 musical film Popeye, and it's now been turned into an amusement park. We had no desire to visit the theme park, but it was really cool to see the village from across the bay at this lookout point. And after a look about here, we jumped back in the hire car and moved further up the road to Red Tower. Another quick stop at the Red Tower this time. Pretty cool view this way. There's a ferry that we're getting on today and you can see a Comino Island and a Gozo Island in the very back there. It's a watchtower which was built for defensive purposes in the 1600s and it was painted red. So clearly someone put a lot of thought and effort into the name. There's not much else to really say about this place, but it did make for a nice photo opportunity. Our final stop of the day was at Coral Lagoon. This was actually a really cool place and one of the few places in Malta without many other tourists about. It's a sea cave where the roof has collapsed creating this huge hole in the rock where you can climb up and look down into the crystal clear pool of seawater beneath. We just intended coming here to have a look about and take some photos but Fendi's mermaid senses started tingling when she spotted the water inside the cave and she decided that she just had to go for a snorkel. Problem was there was no easy way down and it was too high to jump in, so she decided that she would swim out to sea, around and into the opening of the cave. It was a bit risky because the sea state was pretty choppy and we didn't know what currents were out there and she was also having to go alone so that I could stay and fly the drone. But she is a very strong swimmer and she made it look easy. This was a pretty cool way to finish our time on Malta. Thanks very much for watching this week's episode. If you've enjoyed it, please consider subscribing and join us again next week when we jump on the ferry from here and head over to Gozo Island for a few more days of exploring the quieter side of Malta.